Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. My wife betrayed Maine on our European dream trip. I walked away, leaving our marriage and life plans in ruins. I'm a 33-year-old dude, and my wife is also 33. About a month back, she confessed to having a drunken one-night stand with two random strangers we met while partying in Europe. Honestly, it feels unreal even as I type this out. We've been together for 11 years and married for the last two. My wife's been battling some serious depression for about five years now, feeling stuck in her career and a lot of her life choices. I've been trying my best to be her support system, but after two years of this, I'm starting to feel drained. During this time, she turned to alcohol to cope, and I feel like we got stuck in a rut. We tried couples counseling, and the therapist suggested we chase after our dream life together to reignite our passion for life and each other. My wife has always dreamed of living abroad, and after a bit of convincing, I agreed to take a year off work to join her on this overseas adventure. I knew it wasn't the smartest financial move, but she'd supported my career before, even moving around our home country to accommodate my job. So, I figured I'd support her this time. Long story short, things didn't get better. Four months into our trip, her depression worsened. One night we went out for dinner and ended up meeting a group of American tourists, three guys and a girl. We got hammered and had a blast. They were super chill and even bought us a few drinks. By the end of the night, they invited us to their Airbnb to keep the party going. I remember being at their place, munching on pizza and playing a board game. Somehow, it turned into truth or dare. I stepped away to hit the bathroom, and when I came back, I caught my wife locked in a passionate kiss with one of the guys. My blood was boiling I wanted to flip out on the dude, but everyone around tried to play it off, saying it was just part of the game. My wife backed them up, claiming it was all in good fun, but it wasn't fun for me. I just saw the woman I love kissing a guy we barely knew for a few hours. I told her we needed to bounce right then, and we headed home. The Uber ride back was dead silent, and when we got home, she apologized, blaming it on the booze and the game. I crashed hard that night. I woke up around 4 a.m. and noticed she wasn't in bed. Figured she was in the bathroom, so I went to check, but she wasn't there. I thought she might be in the kitchen, so I didn't go looking too hard. But when I checked my phone and realized it wasn't where I left it, I started to panic. My phone was missing. And so was she. I looked everywhere kitchen, backyard, even under the bed. I couldn't call anyone since my phone was MIA. I thought about knocking on neighbors' doors but held off since it was still early. I just stood at the door, waiting until 6 a.m. when she finally pulled up in an Uber. I rushed over, worried sick, and grilled her about where she'd been. She said she left her phone at the Airbnb and used mine to order an Uber. She claimed she didn't want to wake me because I was out cold, so she went alone. I pressed her on why it took so long since it was only a 15-minute ride. At first, she said she got tired and fell asleep there. But when she saw I wasn't buying it, she switched her story to say that one of the guys hit her phone and made her stay until morning to get it back. I threatened to go to the Airbnb and confront him, and that's when she changed her story again, saying she chose to stay because she was tired, and nobody forced her. I called her out, saying I knew she was hiding something and demanded she spill it, or I'd head back to the Airbnb myself. The next day she finally admitted she kissed him multiple times, and he might have touched her inappropriately, but she couldn't remember clearly. At that moment I knew there was more to the story, and I wasn't going to get the whole truth unless I confronted them. Despite her trying to dissuade me, I hopped into an Uber and went back to the Airbnb. I picked up a sturdy branch from the sidewalk, just in case. When I knocked, one of the guys definitely not the one who kissed her answered. He tried to slam the door, but I pushed my way in, brandishing my makeshift weapon. I demanded the truth. While my wife hadn't confessed to sleeping with them, I was pretty sure something had gone down. He got defensive, saying my wife had told them I was cool with her coming back alone to get her phone. From his confession, it was clear she hadn't just slept with the guy she kissed but both of them at the same time. He insisted it was consensual and even showed me pictures where she looked happy and smiling. I went home fuming and confronted her again. This time she spilled it all. Apparently she left her phone behind as an excuse to go back and continue the party. When she got there, instead of leaving, she got into it again with the same guy, and then the other guy joined in. They took her to the bedroom and took turns with her. The third guy and the girl were in a relationship, so they didn't participate in any of that craziness. She kept saying sorry, blaming it on the alcohol again, but I reminded her that she couldn't use that excuse twice. I was in a tough spot financially, having taken a year off work mainly for her career. I felt completely blindsided. We've always had a happy, healthy relationship, supporting each other through everything, usually with smiles. She assured me this had nothing to do with her feelings for me, or a desire to end things. She said her depression was so heavy that she just wanted a brief escape, a chance to relive her carefree single days. She was filled with regret and willing to do anything to fix our relationship. Logically, I get it and I believe her when she says she still loves me. But I can't wrap my head around how someone who claims to love me could just toss it all away so thoughtlessly. She begged me to stay, 
but I took the first flight back to the States, jobless since I'd taken that year-long sabbatical. We only have one car, which is in her name, and I'm crashing on an inflatable mattress at my mom's place. I feel completely devalued and betrayed. I gave up so much to support her in this overseas adventure. What's worse is that I don't feel ready to confide in my family about what really happened. It's weird, but I feel more comfortable sharing with strangers online. We had a phone convo the other day because I told her I was planning to file for divorce and let my family know. She begged me not to, knowing how strict my family can be and that they'd never forgive her if they found out. I'm not sure what I'm looking for advice or just someone to listen. I can't fully disclose what happened to many people in my life right now. I want to start individual therapy ASAP because I feel like I've lost a huge part of myself. I'm ready to let go of my old life, the one I thought I shared with the woman I loved. It feels like I'm mourning not just our past but our future too. After I told her I was filing for divorce, she flew back home, trying to convince me she'd go to therapy and tackle her personal issues, including her drinking. She fully owns her mistake and takes responsibility for what happened. We don't have kids, but we do own a house together. We spent our 20s studying, traveling and working in different parts of our country before settling down. Starting a family was definitely on our radar, but we weren't rushing. We had other stuff to focus on, like building our careers and saving for our dream home. What really hits me hard is that after that first kiss, she consciously chose to go back and make things worse by sleeping with two guys. That's what's tearing me apart. Even if she was drunk, she made that choice to return. There's no going back. No amount of therapy can fix this. The whole scene keeps playing in my mind, and it's driving me nuts. As for STD testing, I haven't been intimate with her since that night. Just the thought of her initial kiss is enough to kill any desire. I'm heading to get tested today. I've thought about asking her if she's cheated before because it seems unlikely that her first affair would involve two guys at once. But really, what's the point? We're heading for divorce anyway. I've read plenty of stories about infidelity and why some people choose to stay and work it out. It's not as simple as just cheating and dumping her. Every situation is unique and should be judged on its own. But for me, I know I can't trust her again, and the mental image of her with those two guys is something I can't shake off, even though I wasn't there. I need time alone to reevaluate my whole life, because it's tough to picture a future without her, after all we've been through. She's tried to set up a meet-up but I'm determined to end things. What's your experience with sharing the details of infidelity with friends and family? I feel sick having to lie about what really happened, but at the same time I feel like telling the truth would bring shame on both of us. It's frustrating having to explain a watered-down version of why we're taking a break and why we cut our trip short. Thanks for listening, everyone. I've started therapy and managed to share everything with a friend who gets it, which felt like a huge relief. But every day is still a battle. Nothing seems to distract me, and sleep has become elusive. I end up crashing from exhaustion rather than actually getting a good night's sleep. Being back at my mom's feels like going back to my childhood. I know I need time to process all of this, but these first few days are just brutal. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.